<laughs> These make good wheels for uh, mousetrap cars too. Okay, this one looks really good. Don't have any different, di well, a little bit, but we can sand out. Okay, board number two. Board number two. Okay, what do we do with board number two? Backside of board number two. And, oh, I need to grab a scratch all for me, Ernesto, because I did not scratch all this one. Okay, what are we going to use on the drill press to measure a half of an inch? Depth gauge. <laughs> nice and deep. Yeah, you can see that one. Okay, so think about this, guys. What are we? Uh, how are we going to set that depth gauge? Think about it. First thing we got to do is kind of find the zero point, right? Yeah. So where's the zero point? It's touching. Where the cutter is touching. Good. You're thinking. So we're going to have to bring that down before we set the depth gauge till the cutter is just touching the wood. Okay, so there's zero. Okay, now, how deep do we want to go? Half an inch. Notice what I'm doing here on this side. Locking that spit. I'm locking the quill or the spindle with this. There's a little lock knob over here, a little lever that locks it down. This is touching. Okay, now, this has got increments on it, but you know what? They don't go far enough. So, grab a steel roll, short one. And we want to set this to a half of an inch. Yeah, that'll work. So, you know, there is increments on this, but I can't... Okay, so a half of an inch, I'm starting here, and that would be, I was pretty close. There's a half of an inch right there. Okay? So we got it set to a half. I'm going to double check my measurement just to make sure. Measure twice, right? Always cut once. Okay, so that's going to take us down to a half of an inch. Loosen up the spindle before you start so we don't end up trying to tear up the, the lock. It is wiggling just a little bit, so I'm going to relock this. See if we can get a little bit tighter. There we go.
It just so happens, guys, that when that gets flat, that's a half of an inch exactly. When that uh, center part got on the wood, see the depth gauge? It's it's right on half inch, so that's as far down as we can go anyway. All right. Would the, now, would the wiggling cause any problems? You know, the wiggling is not super bad because this stays centered. Okay. That's why I kind of was letting it go. You you want to be really careful though. This thing's flying around here, getting your hand up around that thing. It could really rip your hand bad, break bones, rip the skin. So I would not. I wouldn't put your hand up there when it's moving. Okay. Questions now. At the end of the period, you know, and, and you guys work together as a team, and we got to, once we get both these machines going, you know, Tyler's got, uh, uh, Tyler, or, uh, um, Austin Odell's got seven, boor seven boards he's got to do, six all the way through. Oh, so this is going to be one of those bottlenecks. So hopefully we can get both of these drill presses going. You guys can be efficient. Be ready when one's done, the next person's in there, you guys are working together, okay, getting the machine set up right so that it's working. If it starts slipping on here, stop. Don't just keep going and letting it, you know, go a little bit and then slip, go a little bit and then slip. Okay, tighten the heck out of it. All right, questions? No. It's going to work. Uh, 